our grandparents, uh, Lolo Pase and Lola Corinne so Ramos, um, I think happened upon the bookstore business by chance. They had an opportunity to buy a whole bodega full of items, and some of them were pocket books. But at the time, uh, the books were being censored by the Japanese. But right after the war, those books proved to be uh, very, very valuable. The National Bookstore was started by our grandparents uh, in 1942, so about 71 years ago. And growing up, um, I remember visiting the stores, you know, all the time. On weekends, during summer break, you know, we would always work in the stores. Um, Sometimes you would uh, practice playing cashier, but um, it was always fun to find uh, books like Sweet Valley High growing up or like cute little stationary items. Well, I think I wanted to say also that my grandmother is, our grandmother is, is a very flexible person. She pretty much treats her business family the same way she treats her family. Her core values are really hard work, patience, and really si pag so, Filipino authors play a huge role in our uh, merchandise mix. And we also try to um, pro uh, promote local authors through their launches. And even those who are based abroad, we try to bring them in to promote their books here. In fact, uh, we, had a, we had a New York Times bestselling author visit us recently, Melissa de la Cruz, and she said that growing up here in the Philippines, uh, she used to come to National Bookstore every Saturday to buy her her novels like Daniel Seal and Judith Grass. Well, for me, I actually worked with the company, with National Bookstore first, and I left for further studies, and I worked in a different company abroad. So I think that was a, a good experience um, because at that point, you at least experience not being, you know, kind of related to the owner, and you're treated like you actually work your way up the way everybody else does. I worked under my Lola for about five years, uh, uh, choosing the books in the purchasing department. And then I had an opportunity also around the same time Trina did to take my MBA in Northwestern University in Chicago. And, and then I worked in a, in a retail company in the U.S. for about three years. We've been in um, part of the Ayala Mall in actually not exactly this space, but right next door. And I think Ayala has always been supportive um, in terms of uh, growing Nationals business. Our Lola used to say that you know, she had the corner store in Glorieta. She always tells the story of the day that it opened and uh, Mr. Fernando Zobel came to the blessing and so she was very happy because um, you know he graced the event. It was a very simple uh, ribbon cutting blessing and she just always talks about him being there in that opening day. Hopefully Ayala will open more malls so we could open more um, uh, bookstores and lifestyle centers and um, we're constantly updating our merchandise mix. We go to trade fairs and do constant research to bring a very interesting product mix. I was very happy to know that even if my kids are very exposed to TV and um, digital devices, they, they still look for a book at night and they choose you know, books from their library and um, they ask me to read, it, read with them or they read it on their own. We want to let them grow up with different options of what they want to do with their lives. I just want them to know that you know, anything is possible.